Hey you guys, it's me Lola. I got something fun I want to share with you um, today. I'm super, super excited, but let me just say this first. Some of you all may not know who I am, so I just want to share that. So I'm a human being. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm a homo sapien. Okay, let me stop being silly. I'm the creator of The Smoking Prophet, which is a life advice brand designed to enrich people's lives spiritually, creatively, and socially. So now that we got all of that out of the way let's go ahead and get into what I want to talk to you about today which is really really fun so I was thinking about like goals and stuff that women should have and I came up with a goal list so these are 20 goals that every woman should have in 2020 and beyond okay so take what you like let me know what you think about it drop a comment below let me know what some of your goals are let me know if we share any of the same goals and let's win together Let's get into it. All right, so the first one is resist the pressure to settle romantically. So sometimes we look and we want to get in relationships. We want to be with a partner. We want to start building with someone. We want to start a family or whatever. So regardless of the case, do not settle just because you want to be in a relationship. So that's like the number one thing on there, to resist the pressure to settle romantically. Number two that I have here on the list is to not wait until you have a man or family to pursue certain goals so sometimes we'll say well i want to start a family before i do this or we'll say i got to be in a relationship with someone before i do this and it's just like don't wait i think one of i don't like to say i have regrets one thing that i learned from a lot is is i waited to do certain things i was like oh well i'll just wait till i get married to do that and it's like I should have started years ago doing certain things that I felt like I needed to wait on a partner for. You know what I'm saying? So that's like the second goal. Don't wait until you have a man, quote unquote, or a family to pursue certain goals. So the next thing I have here is take ownership of something. Take ownership of something in some capacity. So it doesn't even have to be like super big. You can pay for your car. You can um, start a business. You can own a business. That's ownership, you guys. A business or maybe a side business or some stock or property, you know. That's super valuable. So take ownership of something. And then number four that I have on the list is to create a passive and profitable stream of income. All of us should be doing that. So like 2020 and beyond, ladies, our goal is to create passive and profitable income streams okay something that's not going to take a lot of energy but it's going to make us some extra coins some extra money all right so number five that i have here on the list is to upgrade your skill set to increase your long-term long profitability so to upgrade your skill set to increase your long-term profitability and also to stay marketable dante and i were discussing something and this is on one of our podcast episodes about like 10 things to do to get your dream job snag your dream job by the way follow the smoking profit podcast available wherever you listen to podcasts go ahead and subscribe today but we were talking about it how employees in like three to four years we're losing 30 percent of our competencies so we're losing 30 percent of our skills you know what i'm saying so it's like constantly you need to be upgrading your skill set just because one you're losing it and then i also was reading some other um research and People that are freelancers are often upskilling themselves more than people that have typical nine to five permanent type work. And this is the reason why, because they want to stay competitive. So that's the whole point of goal number five, to upgrade your skill set to increase your long term profitability and marketability it helps to keep you competitive in our world you want to stay competitive especially with all of the disruption that's going to be happening in the very near approaching future all right so number six and if you want to know more of what i'm talking about there then you can go to the smokingprofit.com and search the future of jobs on there i talk about that okay and disruptions that are happening in society all right number seven to stop letting your past control your future. So goal number seven, stop letting things that happened to you in the past stop you from pursuing certain things in the future. You know, if I think about like me and my husband, we got married recently, not super recently because we've been married over a year now, but we got married and in the beginning, I struggled so hard like to even allow him to pursue me. I struggled super, super hard, you guys. And I had to just come out and be honest with him and tell him, hey, like I'm kind of scared 
um, to do this here and and I realized that I was loving him from a place of fear and that wasn't good so we made a promise to one another that we would just love fearlessly and we love fearlessly and he was there with me through all my moments where I wanted to retreat and say wait a minute this relationship is picking up a little bit too fast for me and he was right there and now we're married but if I would have allowed past experiences to continue to dictate my behavior then I would have forfeited this future that I have with him so that's what I'm saying to you all with goal number seven stop letting your past control your future all right I'm going to get through the rest of these pretty quickly because I don't want to take too long goal number eight to not let worry steal your tomorrow okay things happen at the end of the day whatever's going to happen is going to happen you do what you can and you get a good night's rest and you wake up in the morning to your new beginning and you go after it then okay number nine to be present in your moment i think being present in your moment is a goal for anybody to have not just women because we need to see what's happening in the now versus looking behind us looking ahead of us like step back sometimes breathe and say okay what do I need to be doing presently? What is it that I need to see at this moment? Who am I right now? You know what I'm saying? What is it in me that I haven't seen yet that needs to come out in this moment? All right, let's keep going. Number 10, we're halfway through the list, to not overcommit or extend yourself. So number 10, do not overcommit or extend yourself. Number 11, to tell your ex that hasn't changed, that's the caveat, the ex that hasn't changed, no and mean it. Tell them no and mean it okay if they hadn't changed if you see no change behavior then keep it moving all right number 12 to prioritize your mental health soul care is important emotional health is important so prioritize that it's totally good okay it's positive psychology is good stuff all of that all right number 13 to commit to healing and to make friends with people who are too so to say to yourself i'm going to heal from whatever it is i've been through and I'm going to make friends with people that are going to do that too. Because anytime we're connected to people, there's a chance that they could hurt us. But if you have a friend that you know is committed to excelling, to getting better, to growing, then you know that even if they do something that's messed up, it can you guys can pull through a lot better than someone who is not committed to owning their faults, to owning the areas that they could improve in. Okay, let's keep going. Number 14, to practice kindness and love freely while using boundaries that protect your peace. I'm all about peace and maintaining it, you know. Number 15, to pursue synergistic relationships personally and professionally. So you should be in relationships with people that are going to be able to um, benefit you and where you're going to be able to benefit them. You don't want to be in a lopsided relationship you don't want to be the one that's just giving 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 and then you're depleted and they're giving you nothing back they're gone number 16 to have life insurance we all need it you know we could die at any moment god forbid in jesus name but we all need life insurance so go ahead and get that if you don't have it and if you got it you got it checked off your list keep it number 17 to be more gentle and less critical with yourself and others okay so to be more gentle and less critical with yourself and others i think that's a really good one number 18 to chase god not the dream he gave me the dream so i'm gonna chase him and he's gonna help me do it and it's gonna be amazing because i got him with me all right number 19 to pray more i'm not really one of those people that you know has a designated prayer time um i just kind of pray all of the time all throughout the day in my head I don't necessarily do a lot of praying out loud unless I'm praying with someone so my thing is just my goal is to pray more you know and then this is my last one number 20 to courageously pursue God make simple gestures of obedience daily take bold faith moves and let God deal with the consequences so I'm going to say that again to courageously pursue God make simple gestures of obedience daily take bold faith moves and let God deal with the consequences. I hope you guys like my list. As I said, go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know what some of yours are and all that good stuff. And let's win together. All right, I'm out of here. I hope you guys have the most amazing day. Bye.